Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Psalm 74 verse 10 as well as Psalms 36 verse 12. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this word. Thank you for your help. Thank you for strength to keep pressing in and on. Lord God, help us to bear much fruit and let this word be a treasure to us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. All right, Psalm 74, verse 10. How long, O Lord, is the foe to scoff? Is the enemy to revile your name forever? So um, this is actually a scripture that we studied when we were in Psalm 74, looking at the whole chapter, I want to say. And it's asking, is uh, this is a Psalm of Asaph. And um, it's looking at, you know, how long is this going to last, right? Um, how long, oh Lord, oh, oh God, is the foe to scoff? So is how long is he going to make fun, poke fun, taunt at us, um, cause us to to be shamed, right? How long is he going to be the one on the top and we're on the bottom? It says the enemy to re is the enemy to revile your name forever. So that word revile means to reproach or to defy or to taunt, right? Um, so the enemy is reviling and scoffing at God and um, God's people. And, and Asaph is just want, wanting to know, you know, how long is this going to last? It's always going to be like this. How long is the Lord going to be turned away from us? All right. So Psalm 36 is the completion verse. It says, there the evildoers lie fallen. They are thrust down, unable to rise. So sometimes when you don't have the answer to how long something is going to take, the key is remembering that it will take, right? It will happen. It will come to pass. It's not necessarily about how long. It's the fact that it will, regardless, God's word will not return to him void. It says there the evildoers lie fallen. So regardless of how long it took for the evildoers to fall, the key is at some point in time, it's going to be in the past tense. They are going to lie fallen. It is going to be done right? It says they are thrust down, unable to rise, thrust down, unable to rise. Um, that thrust down means to push or chase or overflow or totter or, um, and, and it says thrust down. So yeah, the enemy is going to get forcefully put down, right? He won't be able to come back from it. And and all of the things that you worry about, all of the cares, all the scoffing, all the taunting, all of the whatever in life you're worried about, you won't have to worry about it anymore, right? Because it says they, it's it, at some point in time, they're going to be thrust down, unable to rise, meaning that you won't see that face again. You won't have to deal with that mess again when you allow the Lord to cause your your enemies to fall. It says there the evildoers lie fallen. They are thrust down, unable to rise. So when you want to know how long is this going to go on? How long am I going to have to be in this situation? How long, how long is the enemy to revile your name forever? You, you're just in a state of wondering, Lord, are you going to let them get away with this? then just think about this verse, Psalm 36, verse 12. There the evildoers lie fallen. They are thrust down, unable to rise. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this scripture conflation, God. Bless your people. Let it be treasure to them. Let it be health to their body and nourishment to their bones, Lord. We love you. We give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.